Hi, my name's Steve Ross, and I want to tell you about my little uh, old prop. So, uh, in 2014, I moved to Las Cruces, New Mexico to be with my mother. She was living alone in a trailer on the edge of the desert, and I thought I could help her. But one thing we enjoyed very much was going garage sailing together. There's a lot of poor people in Las Cruces, New Mexico, many of them Mexican or Mexican-American. And at the end of the month, you'll see them uh, put everything they own out on the lawn in front of their house. And uh, they have to make rent and they have to make money however they can. So they put everything up there, their clothes, their kitchen supplies, their, their food from the pantry, their kids' toys, uh, spare tires from the car, uh, sports equipment, everything, everything they have goes out on the dirt in front of their house. And of course, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, nobody has a, a yard, nobody has a lawn. It's just dirt, dirt in front of your house, dirt behind your house, dirt next to your house. It's just dirt. So everything goes out on the dirt. And usually there'll be a tiny spherical Mexican lady watching over the whole thing, taking the money and a gaggle of kids standing off to the side, watching all their toys disappear forever. And you always want to stop and you want to buy something because it's like an act of charity. So we rolled up on this one uh, rent party one day, me and my mom, and we got out and we're looking at the stuff and there's just this little squalid pile of possessions in the yard. And uh, in the middle of all of this stuff, there is this own plot on the dirt, just laying there, a little plastic box with a, a Buddha inside it. And obviously from Thailand, the writing on it, you probably can't read that. The writing is Thai. And it comes from Pratat Chohe Temple in Pre. And uh, forgive me for reading this. Uh, I've never been to Pre. And I've never been to this temple. Pratat Chohe. And there it was, lying in the dirt in front of a little one-bedroom adobe shack on a side street in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico. And I asked the little lady, I said, uh, where did you get this? And she didn't speak in English, and I don't speak Spanish. So the only thing I know how to say in Spanish is, ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much does it cost? And she said, 50 cents. So I bought my own for 50 cents. I've had it on the dashboard of my car since 2014, and I feel very comforted having uh, Sombeto uh, drive along with me. And uh, I plan to return to Thailand in November of 2022 to live. But the first thing I'm going to do when I get off the plane in, God willing, November of 2022, is I'm going to go up to Pre and I'm going to visit Wat Pratat Chohe, and I'm going to make merit. I'm going to tamboon a little bit. I'm going to light some incense, light a, couple, uh, light a candle, and hopefully I'll launch uh, the rest of my life with that action. And uh, until then, this little guy will stay with me uh, on the dashboard of my car every single day and keep me safe until November of 2022.